I don't understand mortals always punching and kicking each other. Help, yo! The punching and kicking I get. I just don't understand the big glowing balls of supernatural energy. Wait. This is one of me mojo balls. Why isn't it in me chest? Your trunk is empty! Just like my heart! Somebody must have broken into me trunk and let all of me mojo out. It's okay. Just fill up the space with potpourri. That's what I did with my heart. You don't understand. The mojo balls in that trunk contained an almost infinite amount of dark magical power. Anyone touched by this mojo would be infected by supernatural rage. So? So? Well, this is obviously part of some sort of sinister plot. Whoever opened me trunk must have been powerful to get past the curse I placed on it. But what kind of sickle would make us fight just for their own amusement? We've got to get me mojo balls back. But if we touch those things, won't we become infected with supernatural rage and start fighting each other too? Hey, I've got a sight. Give me an excuse. <laughs> I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. I feel the need. The need for bleed. I'm about ready to unload 1620s of damage on your butt! Three, two, one, fight! What's up with him? He was part of that last fight. He's been infected by supernatural rage. Those mojo balls are potent. What about you? Weren't you in the last fight too? I thought we agreed not to talk about the plot holes, my dear. Ruggle, Fraggle! The dark mojo we were off soon enough. But this could be a bad sign for the future. You who? Does the mojo rage spread from person to person, tearing apart families and homes, overwhelming law enforcement and society, throwing the world into anarchy, creating a world of chaos? We're only the strongest survive! And in the end, only serving to show that we in fact are the true monsters. I was worried that other people may try to steal me stuff. But I suppose what you said could be a problem, too. Here's another feather. Could Jack be involved? We should see if any fights have broken out of the pumpkin patch. Good idea! Hello? I'm feeling much better now, yo! Hello? Is there a restroom in here? I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. Look out, Mac! Jack is back! Three, two, one, fight! I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. I kick puppies! <laughs> we'll have so much friendly fun. All I ever wanted was to be loved. Another feather! And look at this destruction map! Who would want to cause this much chaos? Maybe it was Eris. Or a bank robber! Or a chicken! Are you two having a contest to see who can say the dumbest thing? I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Good one, Billy! 
Shouldn't we get back to saving the world? In a minute, this is starting to get good. Yeah, okay. I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. When I'm a-rockin', your head's gonna get a-knockin'! Fred Fred Burger? Fred Fred Burger? Why Dracula here? Dracula got Bridge Club today! Three, two, one, Grimms! Oh yeah, who's bad? Grimm's bad! I'm glad the school bus got away from the giant chicken and didn't blow up like the school bus in Horror Chicken 4! I thought for sure the fellas meant... Oh well, the chickens were a red herring, Mom. And we still need to find out who stole my mojo. I know who stole my mojo. Mandy, have you been infected as well? Uh, sure. Then we haven't got much time. Hmm. The criminal always be returning to the scene of the crime. And there'll be something real ominous feeling coming from Billy's house. And not just from the bathroom this time. I think we should go there and see if any fights be breaking out. I think we're close to solving this. I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but I'm really going to enjoy this. I think I'll take this opportunity to scare you to pieces. It's button mashing time. You'll never know what hit you. Three, two, one, fight! Grimm's! Oh yeah, who's bad? Grimm's bad! That meteor had the last of the mojo, but we still don't know who let it all free. What are you doing? <laughs> I was worried about getting lost since we've been going all over the universe, so I've been laying a trail of chicken feathers so I can find my way home. Have you been leaving a trail of chicken feathers this whole time? Yup! Grim, you said you put a curse on your trunk. What kind of curse was it? That's the one. Billy, what were you doing in my trunk? I wanted to free Mo and Joe! Be free, Mo! Be free, Joe! <laughs> Wait, what did I do, huh? I don't know about the rest of you, but I hope this thing's got a mode where we can just beat on Billy. 